All right, welcome back to Russian-occupied Poland as we continue being outcast heroes. Although, really, is Jen a hero or is she a dirty traitor? She's certainly been suspicious so far, but let's keep playing and see. Now, because we failed that first mission, we both have to give... I forgot this. We both have to give up our victory points that we could have earned. You know, so maybe that's why Jen gave me something so nice, because she wanted to tempt me into fighting hard. But then, but she just ran the mission really quick, too. Well, anyway, whatever. I'm left wondering, did she just make a bad tactical move? Was she confident we'd make it? Who knows? But... We are now moving on to the third of four rounds, and so that means another mission. Now, this is the last mission that is going to come out this year. So, we've already done one of the three missions. Here's the other two. And then here's the one to rescue our comrades. Or not our comrades. Well, I guess we can still say they're comrades. Why not? Our, um, our, our buddies who are trapped in jail. So, there's three outstanding missions, one of which has a commander and a liaison, one which has nobody, and one which definitely has some people who would like saving, please. Although, here's the interesting thing. Whoever, if we win this mission, whoever's the liaison gets this special power, this is a bust somebody out of jail anytime you want for free. And since I've only got one guy in jail, I'd like to get that. So maybe I want to put my uh, number three leader in here so I could kick Jen out. So that might be kind of nice. Over here, we can get a grenade. Okay. Let's see. Also, I should say, we went on the third round. Jen gets the super triple action hat back, and she will go first again. Let's see here. Now, what is she going to do? She will assign good old uh, Joseph, who withdrew, who ran away like a coward from the last battle, going to assign him to the big tough mission, the number nine. Hmm. All right. So that's one. And she will also assign uh, Michael Gouda. I'm not going to try. Why am I trying to pronounce these names correctly? Who has a big old strength of four. So... And I'm like, well, come over here. Help, send Michael over here. And she's like, no, 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 I got, this, I got this covered. So there's a total of five now towards this nine. Jen has one more action. And I believe her final action will be to send um, a guy there. All right, so she's contributing. Now there's a total strength of five, although probably wants to send a little bit more. So I'm not going to be happy with that. I'm going to send two more in. I'm going to send both my guys over here. But first of all, I'm going to send my number three... Well, actually, I'm going to send the leadership here. And then for my second action, I'm going to bump him up so I can become the liaison. There we go. Okay. So those are my two actions. And so one guy's still in the headquarters. Four guys are still in my hand. Jen only has one guy in her hand and two in her headquarters. She's spread much more thinly than I am. But we're done with our actions. And so now... Uh, it comes to, are we going to run the mission? And I'm the leader over here. I decide if we run this mission. Now, unfortunately, this mission doesn't have a liaison, so we'll just have to take whatever we get. But, let's see, it starts at 5. It could go up to 9, and we've got 4, 5, 6, 7. And I'd like to think 7 is enough to beat a potential 9. Plus, this might not go up to 9. It might, go, it might only go up to 7. We might beat it without having to worry about orders at all. Hmm... <clears throat> Of course, the other tricky thing, too, is I don't have any guys down here, so that means I don't get to draw extra orders. So I just have to take the orders I get, which means I might end up putting more guys in jail, which would suck. Which means I think I am not going to launch this mission. I'm going to wait. On, I'm going to launch this mission on the last round after I've had a chance to get another uh, my own guy on the strike force. So I'm passing on this. Jen decides she is not going to launch this mission. And, of course, there's nobody. We can't launch a mission to rescue these guys unless we put... A, uh, you know, a, a commander over here. So that's it. And now we move on to the fourth and final round of this year. Now at the end of this round, we don't get to choose anymore. These missions will be launched. Even if there were no commanders on the missions, they will get launched. But this is our last chance to get ready. And the big hat comes back over to me. I have three actions. I want to make sure I do well on this mission. Plus I want to get in on this mission too. I want this mission to succeed. So I will, plus I'd love to get that grenade. So I'll put good old Joseph over here in the number four spot. Jen cannot upgrade Michael to replace Joseph because they both have a leadership of one. Hopefully he'll stick around so I can get this grenade. That would be nice. Um, so that's one action. So now we've got a total of nine here. So we're looking much better. Two action. I am going, I'm going, let's see. So that was one, two, I will put a guy on my intel over here so that I have a much better chance of finishing this. And three, I'll put my other guy down here 
So, boy, I, this is really overkill on this mission since it only starts at a five, but I really want to win that jail. And plus, this means I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five cards. So I'll have a, although there's a very good chance some of my guys are going to go to jail regardless. Hmm. Maybe I just want to put both these guys here because that means I get to draw two extra cards and there is no... Hmm. Plus, and that means it's going to be on Jen because I only have one guy over here. But Jen, if she, if she just puts like one or two more guys over here, it's probably going to be fine. Oh, but here's the other problem. If nobody, if I don't get a guy out here, I wonder actually if I want to put this guy over here. So as a last ditch effort, but... Wow. This is getting more interesting. Maybe I say to heck with this mission. I know we're not going to make that mission. So I put two guys over here because I just want to make sure I'm busting our guys out. So that'd be my three. I got another guy over here. So I'm very, very confident that this mission will succeed. The one Jen is committed to, she's now left holding the, uh, you know, holding her hat in her hand. But if she pulls this mission off by herself, she'll get the reward, she'll get the glory, and I'll get nothing. And I've also committed, I've, got, I've committed six total strength here to try and bust guys out of jail. <clears throat> Although, at the end of the day, I don't have to launch it. I'm hoping Jen will join me. But Jen's only going to get to play two cards. She's got five here. I know... And she's only got one card in her hand. She's got this strength three. If she plays it over here. And now, of course, Jen and I, we could be talking. We could be negotiating. We could be deciding together who's going to send who, what, where, and when. Because, you know, we are, ostensibly, all on the same team. We can't possibly finish all these missions. But you guys know how important it is that I get my guys out. So what have I done? I've totally forgotten what I've done now. I put a guy here. Oh, I put two guys over here. You know what? Actually, I'm thinking I'm going to put all guys over here so that I guarantee this jailbreak will succeed. Yeah, what the heck? I'm going to go with that. Crazy. Okay. <clears throat> and now it is Jen's turn. And she has two actions. Let's see. Now this one is five. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a pretty good chance this one's going to succeed. So Jen, is she going to... Now she only has one guy. She could put a three over here. And, you know, she can put over here to up to, you know, in, let's see, because that's a seven, eight. It's still not enough. She's going to get to put three orders. And she can see now that there's every chance that some will break out. But here's the problem. That's Jen's last guy. Her other action, because she only has two actions this turn, could be to um, recruit a guy to her hand, but there won't be enough time to uh, play him. Hmm. Or does Jen come over here and get in on the prison break so that she she's pretty confident this will succeed now? So if she comes over here, at least she'll get some glory. Coming over here, it's a long shot. These guys are probably going to be arrested, so maybe she should send this guy over here so that at the very least she can get a little bit of glory because she contributed to the jailbreak. Maybe that makes more sense, I think. Yeah, okay, she's going to go there. And so she's given up on these uh, because this is tough. Beating that nine, that's going to be tough for us to do. All right, and so these are the guys who are in jail. Okay, so I've done my three actions, Jen's Hunter 2. I've still got one guy in my hand, one guy in the headquarters. Both of Jen's guys are in her headquarters. Nobody's scored any points yet. And now on the last round, we have no choice. We can't avoid running these missions. They are going to get run in chronological order. The oldest one first, and then, if possible, the jailbreak last. So if anybody goes to jail during these missions, they could still get broken out which is good for me. All right, so I'm going to run this mission. There is no uh, recon intelligence officer, so we're just going to take whatever we get from the Russians, and it's a number three. With interrogation... Right, yeah, that interrogation card means... Um, right, where is it, where is it? Here's all the cards. The player who has the most soldiers in jail will have one action fewer in the next round. Hey, um, and... Now, there's, we both have the same number. If there's a tie, the effect applies to all. Uh, if there are no soldiers in jail, ignore this card. Now, this is the end of the year. I don't know if that means, I assume it means, for the first round, basically, for the first round of year two, both of us, because we're, there's going to be some interrogation, both of us are going to have one less action. But, you know, that both of us are fairly fine with that because it hit us both equally. If only one of us had somebody in jail, that might have been a very interesting turn of events. But anyway, so the total here is eight. And we've got a strength of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, this is probably going to succeed. I am the leader. There's two players involved. So I draw three cards. 
A one, a one, and a one. All right, well, not too tough. I'll give Jen a one and me a one. And the other one just goes back to the bottom. And Jen looks at it and she says, what? What is this? What is this? And I say, honey, I only got, it was all ones. She said, yeah, right. Um, you know, I got, I'm, I'm doing majority of the work here. She's got more strength than me. You know, if she, if she feels cheated, she can. If she draws withdrawal cards, she could pull out. But there's nothing I can do. As you guys saw, I had all one. So, say la vie. So now, I get to draw two order cards. Jen gets to draw four order cards. One, two. It's a withdraw. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, two withdrawal cards. <gasps> and I have to play them. Wow, I have to play them. Which means this suddenly might fail. Okay, well, now, but it's interesting. I had two different types of withdrawal cards. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I don't have. These are the two that Jen played last turn. I forgot. At the beginning of a mission, you always reshuffle all the order cards. Okay, there we go. Oops. And we try not to put them face up in here. So these are shuffled again. So now I get to draw two. Let's see what I draw. I draw an attack and an attack. Both of my guys are going to jail, but that's cool because I'll bust them out later. So we've just gotten the two plus ones we need. We're totally fine, provided Jen doesn't trade her out again. So Jen gets to draw four order cards. One, two, three, four. And hold on a second. Let me see how she's going to play these things. Hmm, hmm, hmm. She will play um, this one here, I think. And, oh, that's interesting. No, no, no. Yeah, she'll play this one. Will she? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Boom. All done. All right. And so. Now, you know, the die is cast. Everybody's issued their orders. Let's see mine first. We can see um, I was a brave person. I fight. I fight. Both my guys are going to jail, hopefully, because... So now there's a total of three, four, five, but we need eight. Um, if Jen pulled both of these guys out, we lose again. And I'll be very, very... I mean, it'll be too late. I'll know she's a traitor. But instead, Jen reveals another attack with a plus two and... A stand fast, which means a plus one. Now, the attack means they always go to jail. They, you know, they fought so hard, but then they get thrown in the clink. The stand fast means it isn't quite as powerful, but Jen doesn't lose the guy. He gets wounded, which means at the end of the mission, he'll go back to Jen's headquarters and is ready to be recruited again. Okay, so we have definitely done it. We totally uh, were successful in the attack of the prison of Kriesh or something like that. I was the liaison officer, so that means I get to take this card. It's an ability I can use anytime I want for the rest of the game. My, this guy went to jail, and the attack card, the uh, orders go away. This guy went to jail. This guy went to jail. Jen's guy went to jail. And this guy just went basically back to Jen's hand. Okay. Okay. So, now, and that's it. Mission successful. Hooray! The communists have done one, we've done one, and now unfortunately, Jen could, de well, J this mission is going to get run. And it's, there's no way it's going to succeed. There's no intel officer. Let's see what the additional strength is. It's a four. Um, Jen gets to draw, well, we have to shuffle again because she gets to draw two more orders cards. Or three more, in fact. And I've been I'm forgetting to give up her other cards. There's all her other cards. All right, so she gets to draw three. One, two, three. Let's see, and even if she had two plus twos, the best they can be is plus two. That would be a six, seven, eight. She can't possibly do it. But she still has to give them orders anyway. So I believe, oh, wow. Okay, well, she will give this order here and this order here. Okay. The total, nobody's going to win, but she's going to lose anyway. Let's watch the orders. This guy withdraws and comes back to her hand. Or actually, yeah, yeah, goes directly into her hand, not to her headquarters. So she's got her best guy back, her smartest guy. And this card goes away. And this one reveals, she told this guy, for a free Poland! And he fought, wait, shoot. Yeah, he fought to the death.
And there was nothing Jen could do because here was the other card she drew. She had no choice. One of her guys had to die. It's a shame because if she could have gotten for the, the other for a free Poland, let's see where it is. Let's see if I can find it in this deck. Wow, this is a terrible shuffling. Everything's stacked together. If she could have played this one, she would have at least gotten a glory point for it. But as it is, this guy died. And he goes to what is called the grave. All right, and so that is spent as well. Okay, so, and this mission failed. The communists won the first year, which might have an impact, which will have an impact on scoring at the end of the year. Okay, so, but there's one more mission to rescue all of our, all of our friends who are now being held in jail, because now there's quite a few guys, four of mine and one of Jen's. Which is an interesting situation for Jen. No, I'm sorry, no, two for Jen's. If Jen only had one and I had four, she might purposely pull out of this mission. But yeah, you know, because she's going to get to draw two cards, um, you know, and maybe make the mission fail because she'd be happy to leave one of her guys in if all of my guys were tied up. But as it is, she's got two guys in, and she's just one guy's died. So anyway, um, there is no scout again, so we just see what the Russians throw at us. Ah, it's the informer. So this went from a seven to a ten. But if I want to, oh, actually, crap, sorry, first of all, uh, we each, uh, see, I get to draw three uh, victory point cards, and nobody won these victory points, by the way. Oopsie doops, because we failed that second mission. Oh, wait, 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 no. No, no, no. Where did the, we fit, we, oh, I forgot to draw, ah, that first mission that I ran, was that the one? Oh, gosh darn it. No, I think. Yeah, we both won the one victory point because we won the mission that I led. So we bo these both went permanently into our hands, these victory points. But Jen, she um, drew victory points. She gave herself whatever, but it didn't matter because she lost. But now there are going to be victory points handed out here. And it's a two, a two, and a three. I think I'll take the three for myself and I'll give Jen the two. Although, see, that's the thing. If I want to ensure Jen's loyalty, I should give her the three so that she is less likely to pull out. Because if she pulls out... We have a, a default seven, and I've got six, seven, eight. By myself, I might not be able to beat this. But I'm going to keep the better points for myself. And so she got a two. Hopefully she's happy with that. And then we reveal, hey. And now here's the deal. If I want to give up my glory, I can make this card go away. I can get rid of the informants by doing something that's apparently not very glorious. And then we're guaranteed to win this thing because it's a seven. We're winning it without even having to worry about orders. But I want my three points. So we're going to keep it. We have, it, we have to be to 10, but there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Should be fine. I'm confident. It, yeah, should be fine. Should be fine. Okay. So we keep that. And now it's orders time. I get one, two, three, four order cards. And I got to shuffle again. And Jen gets two. So we shuffle our orders. I really should be shuffling these better because, wow, they were really clumped up very bad. But it'll do. It'll do for now. All right. I get one, two, three, four orders. For a free Poland. Ouch. Somebody's going to die. Oh, good. A with, you know, two wounds. And Jen gets two. One, two. Okay. So <clears throat> let's see. What is Jen going to do? Jen has only one to give up. She'll... Pony up that, which again, it could be a withdrawal. She could be pulling out and just putting that card back in her hand. And now I've got three guys. I don't think I want my guy to die, particularly since I'll get no glory. So this is the card I am not going to play. So I got two stand fast, which means I'll go back to headquarters and one which will get um, arrested. So it doesn't really matter. I'll just play them all. But actually, wait a minute. Is this enough? Is this enough? All right. We need to do 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Right, so we have 11 total. But if Jen pulls out, if Jen pulls out, then by myself, I got to do 10, and I've got 1, 2, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, wow, no, 6, no, I, I, I've, got, I've got 8 of the 10 if Jen pulls out. And if I play these, this won't do it. If I play these two, no, no, that's going to put me up to 10, so it's fine, it's fine. Even if Jen pulls out, I'm going to succeed at this. All right. So there we go. So now we reveal, and it turns out Jen did not pull out. She attacked. So, and between all my plus ones, we succeed. All right. So now the effects happen. This guy goes to jail. Um, oh, wait. Does the, attack, does the effect happen afterwards? 
Freeing the prisoners. Uh, succeeding in the free prisoner has first a bonus available for the player who controls the. Re this is this is the first time I've ever had this get prisoners out. So I've never really worried too much about prisoners at the end of the year before. There's no shoulder bones. Just ignore the bones. Then move all your soldiers from the jail. And I've succeeded. There's only mission you should determine what happens. Right? No, no. So that's the problem. This guy is going to go right back to jail. After I break out, this guy's going to get arrested. So I think I'm not going to play this on him. This guy is going to, well, let's see, which one do I want to die? I think I will have, yeah, I'll have one of my two twos die. So this guy is going to die rather than go to jail, but that is so I can score my bonus points at the end. All right, so reveal everything. This guy died because of that order. These two guys came back to my hand, or back to my headquarters, rather, because of those orders. Jen's guy, um... Hmm. So she's going to bust somebody out, but then this guy's going to get arrested straight away. Does she want to play the other thing? Nope, she doesn't want to, because here's her other card. Another, um, somebody dies for their illusion. She'd get some points for it, but she's already lost one guy. She doesn't want to lose another guy. So basically, the, the, the jailbreak was a success. And because I uh, had this space, I get the... All, of, all these guys go back to our headquarters, but one of them goes directly to my hand. I'll have my smart guy go back to my hand, and the other guys go back to my headquarters waiting to be recruited. These guys go back to Jen's headquarters, and then this guy, poor Whittold, he gets arrested. And that's it, folks. We have finished the first year. And so now, at the end of the year, oh, and we also got our bonus points. We reveal whatever bonus points we earned over the course of the year. I got a total of three plus one, so I earned four. One, two, I, mean, I started with one, so I'm at five. Jen earned uh, the two I gave her plus um, the one that I gave her. And so she earned three. One, two, three. Now we go back to our secret goals. If we had been, if we had had a good year, if we had won two of the three main missions, each of us would get one point. But as it happens, we didn't. Russia won two of the three missions, so we don't get that. But we still get our bonus. I get two points for having nobody in jail at the end of the round. So I get two more points. Jen's secret goal, she reveals, she gets two points if she still has the nomination card, which she has. She never used this. And so she gets two points as well. So as it is, um, one, let's see, one, two, three, one, two. So uh, Jen is only one point behind me, but she's got a guy in jail and a guy who's dead. So that's kind of a problem. So I guess I came out ahead in this year, although the resistance as a whole did not. And as it turns out, Jen was not a traitor after all. Um, she just kind of made some dumb moves on the first turn. I realized I, I did my math wrong in my head and I just kind of goofed up. But anyway, so now if we were to continue playing, we would start the new year. Uh, everybody has their guys in their hands. Everybody has to nominate one. That guy becomes the commander in chief, gets the cards, and then we start seeing the level two missions which have a difficulty of nine and a difficulty of five and a difficulty of nine in this game. But every game, there'll be a little bit different. There's different special powers. I knew, now have this special power I can use to get a guy out of jail free later, etc., etc. And we go through that until the very, very end. We do three years of this. I've just done one year, and then whoever has the most points at the end of the game wins. And that's the Outhouse Heroes. And now, if you'd like to hear some final thoughts about it, you can hit the button that's on screen or follow the show notes in five, four, three, two, one.